2022 soil pollution behavior of pesticides and inorganic contaminants prevention and mitigation of soil pollution introduction soil contamination or soil pollution as part of land degradation is caused by the presence of genobiotics human made chemicals or other alteration alteration in the natural soil environment it is typically caused by industrial activity agriculture chemicals or improper disposal of waste soil pollution is defined as the presence of toxic chemical pollutants or contaminants in soil in high enough concentration to pose a risk to human health and or the ecosystem in urban area soil contamination is largely caused by human activities some example are manufacturing industrial dumping land development local waste disposal and excessive pesticides or fertilizer use here the ppt is given on soil pollution so details has been given behavior of pesticides the behavior of pesticide in soil has been the subject of research long before pollution become became a byword movement of the pesticides occurs by leaching volatilization or runoff the importance of photo decomposition as a process degrading pesticides in soil is uncertain in recognition that soil is the ultimate sink for most widely used pesticides and given the impetus of recent public awareness of the quality of our environment the past decades have marked much progress in the understanding of the fate and behavior of pesticides in soil a strong case for the continued use of precipitate abdomen of agriculture pesticide is inappropriate it is reasonable however to note the vitally important role pesticide have assumed in increasing the quantity and quality of foodstuffs timber and ornamental plant in improving animal health and in combating certain diseases transmitted to man behavior of pesticides the behavior of pesticide in soil from the standpoint of process affecting pesticides physical chemical and metabolic the effect of pesticide on the soil microbiota and the implication of these processes on persistence bioactivity and plant uptake at such the most influence in process affecting pesticide in soil depend on both soil and pesticide properties other significant soil factor include total surface area water content temperature and ph behavior of pesticides pesticide property that are relevant include overall chemical character and configuration dissociation constant water solubility charge distribution and molecular size movement of the pesticide occurs by leaching volatilization or runoff the importance of photo decomposition as a process degrading pesticide in soil is uncertain generally photolysis occurs more readily for compound in solution with soil inhibiting the reaction the scientific program will focus on the latest research into the environment behavior of pesticide we will make we will take a holistic view of investigations at various scales blending research into basic process we study of root of environment and exposure and the development of practical management strategies to reduce contamination the program will be of interest to environmental scientists from research organization industry government and non government organizations and to those in related discipline seeking a concise overview of the state of the art
It is taken from the 7th International Conference on Pesticide Behavior in Soil, Water and Air. Mitigation and Management for Sustainable Use of Pesticides Environmental risk mitigation measures are increasingly important component of the risk assessment process and condition for use for plant protection products. Submissions are encouraged on practical field experiences with testing and implementation to characterize effectiveness and sensitivity of performance for reduction of field loss by leaching, drainage, runoff, as well as volatilization and dispersion in the air. Submissions are sought considering how much measures may be effectively represented in risk assessment through modeling and opportunities for translation into practical and effective labeling. Discussion will consider how risk management strategies can be designed to improve communication, awareness and uptake and implementation by product user. Inorganic contaminants. Inorganic contaminants are element or compound found in water supply and may be natural in the geology or caused by activities of man through mining, industry or agriculture. In organic contaminants, the majority of this element, that is pollutants, have been categorized as organic and inorganic pollutants. The contamination of water resources with these pollutants has been attributed to the release of inorganic chemicals from chemical industry and waste from automobile exhaust. Besides, petrochemical companies and man-made activities also release inorganic contaminants into the air which then settle down leading to contamination of water resources. Inorganic pollutants found in water bodies are caused by human activities like mining industry or through agriculture. The inorganic pollutants and their organic forms have a devastating negative health effect on the flora and fauna of the earth system atmosphere, hydrosphere and geosphere, causing several human health problems, abnormal growth, high risk of cancer, diabetes, obesity, etc. Here, the figure given organic and inorganic pollutant in soil. So, you can see here that uh, there will be a problem of the pollutant by organic and inorganic anthropogenic sources of heavy metal in soil. So you know that uh, the heavy metal due to distillery, electro planting, steel industry, battery, mining, pliers, melting. So all these uh, industries produce the heavy metal in soil and when the human consume that food then there will be a health problem to the human being. So here the PPT2 has been given on contamination of soil with organic and inorganic pollutants by the Department of Soil Science. So, you can see details from this PowerPoint. Soil pollution mitigation through bioremediation. The World Health Organization lists 10 chemicals with the significantly high public concern with 7 of them are related to soil pollution. This contaminant include heavy metals as for example lead and arsenic, pesticide, dioxin and petroleum hydrocarbon which are often created by chemical manufacturing industries. 
Bioremediation is an approach that simulates the natural degradation of pollution, pollutant with the use of additional nutrients to accelerate their activity. It is largely used to remediate petroleum hydrocarbons since they can be consumed as energy and carbon sources. Microbes in the soil can absorb fuel-derived contaminants as for example aromatic hydrocarbons filter and transfer them into water and harmless gases as for example carbon dioxide through metabolism which is taken from the USGS 1997. Phytoremediation is another remediation approach. Phytoremediation is another remediation approach which use plant root system to transfer pollutant from deep soil to surface soil. Mega 2000 show that with the help of genetically modified technology, plants have greater ability to absorb some heavy metals and radionuclides. Mitigation of carbon emission to atmosphere by forest management. Mitigation of carbon emission to the atmosphere by forest management, soil and environment application of using crop residue as biofuel feedstock, managing crop residue to mitigate climate change, methane and nitrous oxide mitigation in agriculture, pesticide selection and use. Agriculture use of pesticides should be part of an overall pest management strategy which include biological control, cultural method, pest monitoring and other applicable practices referred to altogether as integrated pest management or IPM. When a pesticide is needed, its selection should be based on effectiveness, toxicity to non-target species, cost and site characteristics as well as its solubility and persistence. half lives and persistent coefficient are particularly important when the application site of a pesticide is near surface waters or is underlain with permeable subsoil and is shallow aquifer. Short half lives and intermediate to larger pieces are based in this situation. Pesticide selection and use. In addition to the pesticides, solubility and soil permeability, it is important that pesticides toxicity to non-target species may be considered. Some of the pesticides have severely restricted use due to active toxicity or long half-life. An important purpose of the pesticides container label is to instruct user to apply the pesticides safely and with minimum threat to non-target species, both on and off the application site. Pesticide user assume responsibility to follow label instruction. It is unsafe and unlawful not to do so. Indiscriminate use of pesticide, insecticide and herbicide. So you can see that both the gentlemen are spraying the pesticide on the crops to control the pest, but they are not worried about the contamination of the atmosphere. Soil pollution prevention and mitigation. Soil pollution is the built up in soil of toxic compounds, chemicals, salt, radioactive material or disease causing agent which have adverse effect on plant growth and animal health. Trace elements are important pollutants, many of them are toxic even at low concentration. Primary sources are natural mineral deposits, mining and smelting of metalliferous ores, municipal waste and sewage. Contamination also arises from the rupture of underground storage tanks, application of agrochemicals, percolation of contaminated surface water to subsurface strata, oil and fuel dumping, leaching of waste from landfills or direct discharge of industrial waste. So it is continuous soil pollution prevention and mitigation. In view of the 
countless bad impact develop and most developing countries have put a major legal framework and clean up program to deal with soil pollution in countries that have little control on pollutant dumping soil is contaminated with chemicals that damage the immune and endocrine system causing cancer multiple birth defects and gene mutation in humans and in any soil pollution prevention and mitigation principal strategy for soil remediation include excavation and disposal away from human or sensitive ecosystem aeration and thermal remediation to volatilize chemical contaminants out of the soil bioremediation as well as phytoremediation assessment and follow up of the remediation process is done through measurement of soil chemicals and application of computer model to study transport and fate of soil chemicals so it is a figure four prevention and control of soil pollution so you can see here it is a grassland then solid waste disposal land then nation wide then mining fields then forest land 10% industrial sites 36.3% then farm land 19.4% grassland 10.4% solid waste disposal land 21.3% so nation wide it is it is given so you can see that china released the action plan on prevention and control so similarly other countries have also followed and to reduce the pollution that is useful for the human being it is a figures methods to control soil pollution so you can see that uh, method to control soil pollution so chemical fertilization and pesticide use so we have to reduce recycling paper plastic and other materials reduce the volume of refuse refuse in landfills then uh, reusing of materials such as plastic bottles glass etc then planting trees or reforestation helps prevent soil erosion and pollution so reforestation it is required for the control of the pollution